Hold on to the counter and I'll call. Usually, I just turn the can upside down. Maybe we ought to soap your hand up. They ought to put a warning on these things, like they do with cigarettes. Oh, I think it's coming. Oh, thanks. I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. I'll throw this out as a precautionary measure. <laughs> it stings a little. A little word of advice, my friend. Sometimes you got to let those hard-to-reach chips go. Thanks. You know that article's accurate? Caitlin really is getting married. You know what I just watched? Me pulling a can off some morons' fist? Return of the Jedi. Didn't you hear me? Caitlin is really getting married. What did you like better? Jedi or the Empire Strikes Back? Empire. Blasphemy. Empire had the better ending. I mean, Luke gets his hand cut off, finds out Vader's his father, a uh, hand gets frozen, take away by Boba Fett. It ends on such a down note. I mean, that's what life is, a series of down endings. All, all Jedi had was a bunch of Muppets. There was something else going on in Jedi. I never noticed it till today. They build another Death Star, right? Yeah. Now, the first one was completed and fully operational before the Rebels destroyed it. Luke blew it up. Give credit where credit's due. And the second one was still being built when they blew it up. Compliments of Lando Calrissian. Something just never sat right with me that second time around. I could never put my finger on it, but something just wasn't right. And you figured it out. The first Death Star was manned by the Imperial Army. The only people on board were the Stormtroopers, Dignitaries, Imperials. Basically. So when they blew it up, no problem. Evil's punished. And the second time around? The second time around, it wasn't even done being built yet. It was still under construction. So? So a construction job of that magnitude would require a hell of a lot more manpower than the Imperial Army had to offer. I'll bet they brought independent contractors in on that thing. Plumbers, aluminum siders, roofers. Uh, not just Imperials. Is that what you're getting at? Exactly. In order to get it built quickly and quietly, they'd hire anybody that can do the job. Think the average stormtrooper knows how to install a toilet main? All they know is killing in white uniforms. All right, so they bring in independent contractors. Why are you so upset at its destruction? All those innocent contractors brought in to do the job were killed. Casualties of a war they had nothing to do with. All right, look, you're a roofer. Some juicy government contract comes your way. You got a wife and kids, the two-story in suburbia. This is a government contract, which means all sorts of benefits. Along come these left-wing militants and blast everything within a three-mile radius with their lasers. You didn't ask for that. You have no personal politics. You're just trying to scrape out a living. Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, what are you talking about? The ending of Return of the Jedi. My friend here is trying to convince me that any independent contractors who were working on the uncompleted Death Star were innocent victims when they were destroyed by the rebels. Well, I'm a contractor myself. I'm a roofer, done and ready home improvements. And speaking as a roofer, I can tell you a roofer's personal politics comes into play heavily when choosing jobs. Like when? Three weeks ago, I was offered a job up in the hills, a beautiful house, tons of property, a simple reshingling job. They told me if I could finish it in one day, I would double my price. Then I realized whose house it was. Whose house was it? Dominic Bambino's. Babyface Bambino? The gangster? The same. The money was right, but the risk was too high. I knew who he was, and based on that, I turned the job over to a friend of mine. Based on personal politics. Right, and the next week, the Foresi family put a hit on Babyface's house. My friend was shot and killed didn't even finish reshingling. No way. I'm alive because I knew the risk involved in that particular client. My friend wasn't so lucky. Any contractor working on that Death Star knew the risk involved. If they got killed, it's their own fault. A roofer listens to this, not his wallet. <laughs> 